Hey guys, welcome back to another video review. We have the Deluxe Night Builder set number 2 up for review. On the side of the package we have no lore, just like the Nameless Legion Builders, but we can see that this knight is part of the army of Leodysseus. On the back we get to see some very nice full art of the background. We have a few short paragraphs on the bottom right with some lore on Mythic Legions. So let's check out the knight. Even the Deluxe Night Builder comes in collector friendly packaging. The package makes a good option for storage considering how many parts we get. The Deluxe Knight Builder is based off of the 2.0 slim body. The difference from a Deluxe Knight from a Legion Builder is we get a ton of accessories that all have a premium paint job applied to them. The cost of a Deluxe Knight is higher than a standard figure, but the included extra parts more than makes up for the cost. Mythic Legion figures are built to swap out parts with other figures. More commonly, you will be swapping heads, but this is the ultimate figure for those who want to swap out parts. One thing to note is that 2.0 slim bodies are not compatible with 1.0 bodies. Let's look at some details. The default head we get is a silver Templar helmet with a gold cross sculpted in the center. We can see tiny silver rivets painted and sculpted on the cross. On the side we can see how the cross wraps around the helmet and we finish off with some golden rivets all over. The chest has a nice steel, gold, and blue design painted all over the figure. Golden rivets dot the figures all over and the pattern is sculpted onto the chest center really pops out with that metallic blue. On the back we have three large peg holes. Two of them we will cover up with shoulder armor later, while the square peg in the center is for the wing adapters. We can see the blue and gold color wrap all the way around to the back, and we can see multiple layers of plate armor stacked over each other. On the shoulder we can see that rest of that blue and gold pattern continue here with gold rivets holding the small layers of plate armor together. The gauntlets have a thin layer of black grime and dirt applied to the arm, just enough to make it look used. On the front we can see a bright yellow and blue tabard, with streaks of stains and dirt all over. On the side we can see a similar pattern we saw on the chest, with more of that metallic blue and gold color here. We have a nicely detailed belt at the top, holding the plates of armor together. On the back we have a small section of armor covering her backside. The thighs have three large layers of plate, with one big rivet on each side to secure them. The legs have a bit of weathering, but the shine of the armor still comes through. We can notice more of those golden rivets dotted all over. And lastly we have the boots, with small layers of plate riveted onto each other. Let's check out the articulation. We have a rotating neck peg, a ball jointed head, shoulders that rotate and open, elbows that bend and rotate, the elbow guard will block just a bit, a rotating forearm, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed chest with very little movement, a rotating waist, legs that open, move forward and back, thighs that rotate, Knees that bend back and rotate. And boots that rotate at the ankle and foot and bend up and down. Let's check out all the extra armor parts. We get a total of three extra heads. Swapping them out is as easy as popping the old one off and socketing a new one in. We have a very nicely sculpted and detailed head. We have golden paint over the edges of the helmet. On the side we can see more details like how the helmet is strapped closed with the brown leather belt. On the back we have a small decorative plate. It's made of an extremely soft plastic so be careful of putting it into storage as it bends easily. We have a salad helmet with a ton of dents and marks sculpted into it. There's a tiny bit of weathering paint applied. On the side we can see a lot more detail in the sculpt. We have multiple layers of armor riveted together in the back with a bit of gold color here and there. And on the back of the helmet we can notice more scratches in the sculpting. We get a nicely sculpted jousting helmet. We can see all the ridges sculpted at the top of the helmet along with tons of small details everywhere else. On the side we can see more golden rivets dot all over the helmet while the sculpting speaks for itself in terms of detail. The spike at the top of the helmet is removable. That allows you to replace it with the included plume. The feathery plume itself is very large and very blue. It makes the figure a bit top heavy, but it looks nice. We get two pairs of shoulders with this figure, and installing them is as easy as matching the peg with the joint on the back of the shoulder. 
We get a pair of plated layered shoulder armor along with golden rivets connecting each of them together. The other pair of shoulders has a similar design to the metallic blue and gold paint that's shared on the rest of the figure. We get an additional chest and waist to swap out with the original. It's a yellow and blue striped tabard design with brown belts and gold buckles. Installing the chest is just like changing out a head. You pop the old one off and socket the new one in. It's a tight fit, but it will fit in there. All of the limbs are also removed in the same way. We get two extra skirt pieces to attach to the figure. They have a square peg in the front that sockets onto the figure. You pop off the original and socket the new piece in. They are easily interchangeable and made of a flexible soft plastic. And it wouldn't be 2.0 without wing adapters. If you had wings, you would attach them to these. And lastly, we have a small version of the belt that fits in 2.0 bodies. Let's look at all the weapons this figure comes with. We get a large battle axe with an extra blade that attaches to the back of the axe. You can remove the spikes on the weapon and swap them around to change the look. We get the standard dagger with the black hilt, a regular short sword also with the black hilt, and we get a two-handed longsword with a bit of grime painted on the sword's blade and bronze hilt. We get a ball mace painted in a dark steel color. It's removable from the shaft. We can replace the head with the included flanged mace. It has golden rivet details all over it. We get a long spear with the peg on the top to attach the halberd to it. It's painted in a reflective silver. The peg also fits the mace toppers we saw earlier, giving you more options to customize your weapons. The halberd also fits on top of the mace shaft. We get a standard spear with a little bit of dust and dirt details applied to it. We get a nice checkered painted golden shield. On the back we can see a shield grip already installed that you are able to remove. And we also get a round shield with silver and gold paint and with detailed runes on the edge. And just like the other shield it comes pre-attached with a shield grip. The Deluxe Knight Builder really lives up to the name, it's truly a deluxe figure. While you are paying an increased price for the figure over standard figures, the amount of features and options a figure has really lets you get a ton of value out of this figure. With all the spare parts you get in this figure, it's not uncommon to buy other standard Legion builders and outfit them with extra pieces left over from this set to create your own custom figure. The amount of extra heads in this set really helps out with the creativity you can put on a single figure. This collection comes with enough knight themed pieces to create your own preferred knight setup. While all the weapons are from 1.0 and we don't get a single new 2.0 weapon, we do get some of the more less used pieces like the mace and the halberd. The shields are also painted with a unique color and design and it gives them a new look to an otherwise already used mold. Customizing Mythic Legions has been a part of the toy line's ideals since the start, and while most collectors are probably only used to swapping out the heads, it can be nerve wracking trying to pry apart these figures, especially the new slim 2.0 bodies that aren't as thick and sturdy as the 1.0 figures. But the plastic is far from brittle. The quality of the plastic makes it simple to apply a bit of force to pull apart a joint or swap out parts. The Deluxe Knight Builder is a perfect way to learn how to start customizing your figures beyond head swaps. Overall, it's a great figure and a great value. While for someone like me, the 1.0 weapons do get a bit old, but the pure amount of accessories you get in this set brings so much value to it. Almost all of the pieces are painted in a unique way, and the only way to get some of these designs is by getting this set. This figure has so much replayability in it, you'll spend hours just mix and matching parts, swapping parts out with other figures, and upgrading other figures with parts from this set. I'd recommend this builder set to anyone interested in customizing Mythic Legions. If you can find one online, it's definitely worth picking up. Alright guys, I'll do it for this review. More reviews coming up very soon. 